<laughs> yes, guys, Bash, and welcome back to part three of our honest days of hunting. We're here at Leopardstown, we're doing okay. We've had two nice winners, and it's now time for the Irish Champions League. Had a cover with Ghost Rider, went on him for 450, and I've done the reverse forecast. Can't go wrong. Come on, economics. Come on then. Economics on the left with the big white face. Ghost right on the right hand side. One off the rail. We're off in the big one. All right, lads, we are often running more positive about Ghost Rider's position here. It's just one off the pace. Economics on the wide outside. He's going to have to go wide, but he'll stay all day and fly home late. Yama. We are currently second third. Forecast thinks of it. August Road Dan is absolutely tracking us. Tom pushes the button. Rodan's going nice. Come on, Tom! Go on, Tom! Here comes Rodan. Go on, Tom! Fight back, Tom! Fight back, Tom! Fight back, Tom! Fight back, Tom! Get in there! Come on! Lads, what a tough haul. Economics is he's headed. August Rodan came there going better, and he's just put his lovely, beautiful white face down. He's home in the big one. We've landed a lovely touch. Kiaban. Well done, Tom. What a horse. What a brave horse. All right, lads, we are heading inside to watch the English St. Ledger, and I'm waiting on Jan Bruegel for 7.50, but I have covered Sunway to get back my steak. Got it in some nice doubles, just doubled it up uh, with economics here. Jan Bruegel to mow Grosvenor Square down late and do the business. Come on. Come on, Jan, go get him. Come on, Jan. Come on, Jan. Come on, Jan. Put your head down. Come on, Jan. Come on, Jan. Come on, Jan. That's Bashi's on fire. Absolute packed bookies. Jan Bruegel, what a ride. Get up there. All right, lads, we move on to race number six, I think it is. There's nine races. Uh, the one that I really like here is Trust Your Instincts. In the last leg would be a fourfold with the three that have already run. Waiting on for about 1,200 bisharoonies. Um, but yes, from now on in, it's horrible racing. I want to try and back something else here. But yeah, trust your instinct in the McManus colours to land a big one. All right, I've given in. I've had a small cover bet. This man here, Paddock Pick said some jab. <laughs> I've had a couple of quid each way on the Japanese horse. Um, and uh, I've also given in and had 60 quid on Samiha, the Dermot Weld horse, which is probably the main danger to mine. But trust your instinct to land a big one. Cigars will be out. Coming out number eight. Lovely white face. Hopefully it's economics going at her again. Yum up. All right, we're off and running. We're in a lovely position here in second on the pace, which is where you want to be. Yeah, I'm on. Come around the home bend. Still going nicely. What does he find? Come on. Go on, Dylan. Press, press the button, lads. Go on, Dylan. Get him. Oh, who's this on the outside? Come on, Dylan. Catch him. Go on, Dylan. Holy moly, we've had four winners here. We've had the St. Ledger winner. I need a cigar. <laughs> Lads, I'm gonna have to find security or someone's safety and ask them to call the fire brigade because Bashi is on fire in Ireland. <laughs> well done, Dylan. Gave it a peach, an absolute peach. 
Come on the boy. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for watching. As it stands, we're three grand up. I haven't currently picked anything out in the last three races. They are very horrible. I was hoping I'd have made my money by this point, and we have. I don't often have good days like this. Uh, thank you so much. Everyone that's come up to me and said hello, thank you very much. We're off to the Curra tomorrow. Make sure you like, comment, and follow. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'll post all my selections. Come on, boys.